There is a lot of new blocks in the Trails and Tells update, and when looking right at all these new blocks and things like that, that did get me wondering, how hard could it be to build the perfect house, but only using Trails and Tells blocks? And I guess in the end, there's really only one way to answer that. If you're someone who ever struggles trying to build any houses or any buildings or anything like that, I think the best way on starting is to at least create like a general shape such as maybe like a rectangle or a square or something like that. And look at me trying to sound like a builder. Emphasis on the word trying, but you know, we're, we're at least getting somewhere. So I think it'd be better if we have sort of like a raised area a little bit, sort of like having a patio with a few steps going up. Like maybe th this side can have the patio, yeah I, th I think that'll work. And bear in mind, this build's probably gonna be very pink and very yellow at the end. Cause even though there's a lot of blocks to work with, there's only a few certain number of colored blocks to work with. Hmm, you know, actually, actually, okay, let's break, let's break this up a little bit. Maybe have a few normal bamboo planks right here. And then the edges can have the mosaics. Ooh, wait, actually, we have the clay pots, and they're not yellow or pink or something like that. And you know what? That actually doesn't look too bad. I don't think I'd immediately go for something like this, but considering the, the block limit, I think it, it it's the best we could do. Speaking of which, I think something like this might actually work for the patio bit. Wait, this isn't a patio. It, front porch? Front yard? I don't know. So, something like that. And before anyone has a chance to correct me down below in the comments, walls in the first floor are pretty much completely in place. And you know, they don't look too bad, but I think they could definitely benefit with some windows. Yeah, maybe something like this. Wait a minute. Glass isn't part of Tres and Tails. What am I doing? We can't have this. We can't have this. Uh, what? What, what could we do then? What could we do then? Oh, that kind of looks more like a prison rather than a home. What about trap doors? Would they work well here? Ooh, you know what? They actually do. And also, like, comparing the two, I mean, looking through trap doors comparative to glass, I mean, you have, you have almost better vision looking through trap doors and glass. And because of this unarguable fact, so we might as well add a few more around the place. Yeah, actually, not not too bad. Like, for, for everything considered, it's actually not too bad. And since we have the rough idea down, the second floor should be relatively easy. And it pretty much was. And now onto the roof. AKA, the fun part of every build. And the part that could either make the build look good or look off. Home or barn. Comfy or concerning. Contentful or crazy. Or in this case, pretty snug. And honestly, I had no idea this build was gonna go this way, but doesn't it give off like an old 1960s style dollhouse vibe? Like it's not just me with like the, the very bright colors and the very pinkish outlines and everything. I don't know, very, very, very dollhouse-like. But hey, it's at least a house. And speaking of a house, uh, it's not really a house considering there is no inside yet. And again, we have very limited color options, but at least we do have chiseled bookshelves for the floor and yo this looks so weird seeing a different color than yellow or purple or pink what's also weird is not having any way of getting upstairs yet but we we could change that pretty quickly and you know since i am in a chiseled bookshelf mood i might as well use this for the uh, for the floor upstairs too oh wait a minute are there any light sources in 1.20 <laughs> because otherwise the inside's gonna be very very dark do you give up any lights probably not Ooh, actually you do, but you have to be lit up. That's... That's annoying, but it's the best we could do. Or actually this... It keeps the light on. It's very annoying, but it does keep the light on. Wait, 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 wait. What, what if I, what if I put it below? Oh, wait, does this actually work? It, it works. It actually works. I am a genius. I am such a genius. That or it might have just completely lucked out with this. And maybe we could have something like this. Maybe. Again, there's not much I could do, but I guess this, this is this is the best we could do for now. Speaking of the best we could do, there's really not much we could do with like, you know, decorating the interior. Actually, unless maybe. Okay, these stupid skulk sensors have been on for like a minute and they're already driving me insane. But yeah, I guess we could do some minor, minor interior stuff, especially with these hanging signs. And when I say minor, I mean very, very minor, because again, there's plenty of different blocks coming in 1.20, though, at least on their own, they're really difficult to use. Well, I shouldn't say that, but they're more tricky to use in a specific type of way. Okay, that's probably not a good way of putting it either. I guess maybe when you limit yourself in some way, it sort of limits your ideas and the possibilities you could do with that thing, which makes you have to think a whole lot more about it. Okay, that's probably enough explaining. And also probably enough building, and again, 
considering the circumstances, I think for the most part, we've ended up with something that looks pretty good. Like safe stairs, coming through the curtains, we can see we have our lovely wooden bed, our lovely wooden bookshelves, our lovely wooden seats, with some very, very lovely looking rooms downstairs, right next to a lovely looking outside of a beautiful looking dollhouse. It, 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 don't deny it, this totally, totally looks like a dollhouse. But as far as houses go, and as far as 1.20 houses go, I'd say this is as perfect of a build as I could have made it. Don't fact check me on that, don't come back to this video months down the road when I become better building with these one blocks. Because for now, this is a beautiful build, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.